and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Japanese house tour. Um, I'm also going to be showing you some traditional Japanese instruments and my host family is going to show you around and welcome you into their home. And Yuka, my host mother for this week or this entire month, is going to show you some traditional Japanese um, songs. And she's going to play it on these amazing instruments that she has decorated around her home. So let's start the tour and I'll hand you over to Yuka and she will show you around her home. Hello! Coming. Hi! Hi, Sakura! Let's put my shoes down. Please have my slippers. Oh, thank you! <laughs> Cute! Alright, so here we have Hi, Yuka. I'm Yuka. Nice to meet you. And this is Poo. Masato. Nice My to meet you. <laughs> Please come. So, here is our waiting room. Okay, this is um, here. We have a koto. It's a short string instrument. And also, you can see another instrument here. It is called Sanshin. So you can try this traditional Japanese musical instrument anytime you want. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see many kimonos here. So these kimonos are all my grandmother's handmade. So you can try these kimonos anytime you want. We have many kinds of many colors. And we also have baby kimono and also kimono for men. Kawaii kimono! <laughs> Kimonos! Yay! Cosplay! <laughs> okay, and here we can have a breakfast and we can also cook some Japanese traditional homemade food so if you want, just let me know. So, actually Brittany loves this one, okonomiyaki vegetable and meat pancake. That's my favorite! <laughs> I've had that, what, five times already? Yeah, <laughs> more. <laughs> Okonomiyaki yep. has been my favorite dinner. <laughs> you guys make amazing <laughs> Okonomiyaki! <laughs> yeah. ah, <not> <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> okay, so be careful. This puchan, um, this is a ninja dog. Okay, so when you're eating pancake here, he will show up and Try some, try take some. So please be careful. P pancake, you have to, you know, protect by yourself. Otherwise, <laughs> you will eat. Um, so on the first day I arrived, Poochan, yeah. they told me that Poochan eats pancakes and I didn't believe them. I was like, oh, he might just try to have a, nut, um, a nibble. But he just comes yeah. and he's so fast and he goes, Row! <laughs> and just runs away and you wouldn't even know he took it. He's so ninja. Yeah, ninja, ninja dog. <laughs> so here, <laughs> so this is shower room, so this is very traditional Japanese style bath, we Japanese put hot water into the bathtub and you can take shower here, you can use these soap, shampoo and conditioners, okay, and here washing machine, you can use washing machine anytime. So I decorate with my favorite things: um, Lumin, Picasso, Green. <laughs> so we have it's a new style uh, toilet. Number one, number two is button to flush, and this is for women shower and tap it. Everything <laughs> is button, no lever here. How long has Japan had? The clean the bottom with the water spray. Maybe more than 20 years. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, is it yeah. sort of traditional or is it oh, sort of a. Yeah, no, I think so. <laughs> kind of traditional. So, traditional houses would have that kind of toilet now? But most, or this style is quite different. We don't sit down on the it's toilet. It's a squat toilet. Yeah. So. Yeah, mm. um, there's still a lot of shopping centers that do yeah, that. Yeah, sometimes. So, I will show you the first room here. Yes. So this is kind of Japanese room. So I prepare some paintings here, and this is 
good fan for summertime, but I put other decoration. But here we have Pikachu and Mew. <laughs> <laughs> so here you will use Japanese futon and sleeping on the floor. But futon is very thick, so yeah. maybe it's not no problem for you to sleep. sleep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Poojan! Oh my God, Poo. you're sleeping through my house tour. Oh, you more. Sweet potato, he loves it. <laughs> That's the only way you can get him away from eating your pancakes in the yeah, morning. Every morning. All right, should we go upstairs? Sure. Master has gone. Oh. <laughs> Most popular uh, Japanese uh, character is Kuma, uh, Bear, and Black hair. So we have two rooms in the second floor. So this is the biggest room in my house. So this is double size bed and you can put your luggage up here. Another two more Pokemons, Pikachu and I don't know his name. <laughs> can I hold the big one? The Kuma mom? Uh, Kuma bear? The big one, yeah. My friends gave it to us as a present. Yay! Look how big he is! Oh, so big! <laughs> and Kuma means bear, so like a New words of relax and bear. Relax, relax bear. Yeah, <laughs> relax bear. <laughs> All right, let's go to my room. Okay. Bye. Nice and clean. Yeah. Hey. Hotel room. <laughs> so we call this room it's an animation room. So you will find lots of anime posters and of course Kuma Mom and darts. So here sold art online. This is Bridge, Kumamon, and you know this is a love life. I didn't love know that. Life. Yeah, it's very popular for boys. And that's all, is it? Yeah, arigato. So would you like to show me um, some music. of the music you yeah, play? Yeah, of course. Let's go. So you're a English teacher? Um, yeah, I'm doing English teacher, but also I'm a music teacher. So the Airbnb guests yeah. can, they can try kimonos on, they can and do... Koto, 13 strings, and Sanshin, 3 strings guitar, and tea ceremony. So I am the host of these rooms, and also I am host of Airbnb experience. So we can, you know, uh, invite guests just one day tour, two hours, and come here and try these experiences. That's so cool. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> this is Yukasa. It's a kind of kimono, but especially for uh, summertime. We wear it and go to the summer festival. Very beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so this is called Sanshin. San means three in Japanese, and Shin means strings. So it means three strings guitar. And the material here is made of snake skin. So in Japan we have three kinds of shamisen. One is from north, the other one, another one is from Kyoto, and this one is from Okinawa, the small island, and it's from the South Island in Japan. They have very um, unique uh, traditional yeah, music and also they have very unique cultures and this sanchin is of smallest and lightest so that's why I choose this one so let's start uh, playing sanchin so now I'm going to play Asado Ya Yunta it's a famous love song from Okinawa so I'm uh, singing Japanese song but it has a, a strong Okinawa dialogue Thank you. 
<laughs> that was so beautiful. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this Japanese house tour. Um, thank you so much, Yuka. Arigato. <laughs> um, and if you want to stay here or learn about any of the experiences, I'll put all the links in the description box below and I'll see you guys in the next few days. Bye.